downtown Roanoke. It's our Blue Ridge. Now, here are the hosts of our Blue Ridge, Natalie Fonts and Jay Prater. And welcome back to our Blue Ridge. In today's world, it is very important to get kids excited about science and technology. And we have a group of kids here in the Blue Ridge area. Not only have they gotten excited about it, They've taken their experiments to an entirely new level. They're called the Thinking Cats. We have Austin Downs, a team member of the Thinking Cats, and Frankie Marchand, the team's coach, here with the details on their latest project. Welcome, guys, to the show. Frankie, it's good to see you. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, okay, first, I want you to introduce the team. Uh, sure. Who all do we have? Of course, we have, okay. we have Austin here. I'm Austin. That's Alexi, uh, Misael, and Ethan. Okay, all right. And, and what are the Thinking Cats? Well, the Thinking Caps is a group of, uh, of kids that participate in the uh, first Lego League. And, uh, the first Lego League is the uh, robotic program okay. that's made for kids 9 to 14 years old. All right. And uh, it's a way to make them discover science and technology. That's a you very good thing. You have right now th over 15,000 teams around the world in 50 countries participating in this competition. All right. Now, Austin, how did your team get involved with this program? Uh, well, um, our my f teammates right here, Ethan and Alexi. Mm -hmm. uh, Ethan's older brother was interested in Lego, and so they kind of joined their school. But then, the sc the school had too many members for their team. Okay. So we had to create our own team. Oh, there you go, and you got the T-shirt to prove it. That's pretty good. Okay, so the project for this year is the brain computer interface. That sounds a little frightening. I don't mind saying. Tell me about it. What, what is the BCI? Uh, BCI is, like you said, brain-computer interface. Um, when you think and concentrate, uh, your brain sends electrical impulses or brain waves. Um, right. And an electric cover head cap, which Alexi's wearing here. Oh, I thought he was just listening to his iPod or something. But, <laughs> so. Okay. It's an electric cover head cap. Um, uh -huh. And what it does, it's recording his thoughts. It sends it to the computer, and it... it either sends it to a robotic limb or a wheelchair. Wow. Okay, so there are a lot of practical applications for this. You can yeah. use it to help people with disabilities. Yes. All right, so uh, I guess you're going to show us how it works then? Yes. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Now, with nothing but brain power, he's going to move that little that little yes. robotic car. He's got a headset. Okay. And that's a mindset headset. Uh, and a with mindset the software, headset. With the software, he's going to talk to the computer uh -huh. and has his concentrates. The uh, wheelchair, which they are modelized here, will will move. Okay. Focus, Alexi. This is this is amazing. Huh? Direct TV, live TV doesn't always work. <laughs> he's got he's got a blue screen of death going on over there, doesn't he? I can see though how this would be incredibly helpful for people. Look at that. Did he just do that with his brain? Yes. No, no, okay. Not, now that it's connected. Fix now. All he right. Let's think. He, think through. All he has to do is think. Huh? No, it's not working anymore. Yeah. It's okay. But if you had Start a situation. Focus. Oh, wow. That's impressive. And what we use is we use uh, this headset and uh, uh, a software from free from the internet called the Puzzle Box uh, Brainstorm. And that's what kids can do. That's really neat. That's really neat. It opens up a whole lot of opportunities. Now, I understand that uh, in a recent competition, you guys did very well. Yes. You want to talk about it? Yeah. Uh, we did. Well, I think they're over here. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Got a couple of awards there. This one was for our robot performance on the table. Mm -hmm. We scored 165 points, and we got first place in our division. Nice. And then your other one there? Uh, this one was we got second place, and o overall in the whole uh, competition, we had we got second place. All right. Well, congratulations on that. Looks like you guys are poised to change some lives here. That's very neat stuff. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you very much for having us. All right. Thanks for the demonstration. You're watching Our Blue Ridge, and we'll be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Our Blue Ridge, we have a big show. We're going to be live on location at Jefferson College of Health Sciences. That place is so neat. We're going to sit down with Dr. Nathaniel L. Bishop. He's the president of Jefferson College of Health Sciences. And they're going to tell us more about the programs they have to offer. And we will take a tour of some of the college's state-of-the-art classrooms, plus talk with several of the school's instructors. And uh, let me tell you, that was a neat place, wasn't it? It was. We got to go out a little bit early. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I love it that they've got all of that in there that's actual hospital equipment. Mm -hmm. And these students get to work with it before they're actually out in the field. Because it was an old hospital. Yes, yeah. well, exactly. Yeah. So, all of that coming up tomorrow on Our Blue Ridge. We will see you live on location. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>